Okay, guys, like I promised, I was going to come back again. And uh, I decided to, you know, to slice the segments um, half. Like the first video I uploaded uh, has to do with uh, figure drawing. And what we're going to do is we're going to now concentrate on faces and I'm going to sh show you some stuff that I've been practicing by Serpino and like always I'm always mixing everything okay so what we're going to do is we're going to let me show let me let's fix this a little bit all right what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate with this technique now this is Serpino's method and unfortunately um, the video, um, it's in Spanish, but I actually loaded, uploaded it, and I will put it as soon as that block is over on Facebook. I'm going to post it on my group so you guys can enjoy it. Uh, it's in Spanish, but the problem is um, all you have to do is be open-minded and look at the video and study the way he draws. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. You just have to have an open mind and just look at the video. That's it. Because I've seen videos from France, Germany, Italy, and I'm talking about whether it's movies, art tutorials, and um, I'm a very open-minded person. So, um, so I'm going to explain it pretty much of how the video explains it, how he explains it, and I'm going to explain it in English, all right? So what he does is, and I'm gonna use the back of this drawing here, just to make it more simple. What he does is he does the, um, he starts working like always. Uh, he likes to work with, you know, center lines, uh, <clears throat> you know, the vertical line and the horizontal line. Then this right here would be the eyebrow line right here. And this right here would be the bottom part of the eye. Here's right here would be the nose. And I noticed when he did the line for the mouth, he started working with the line for the top of the mouth. And then he started working with the bottom part of the mouth. This would be the chin right here. So in this video, what he does is <clears throat> he actually, um, you could do, you know, you know, the face and everything if you want, the shape of the face, but I'm giving you an, another idea that he did. Um, he did the hair first. That's what he did. He did the hair. And of course, everything has to do with visual effect. You know, you train your eye to see the shapes, you know. And it may not look much, but trust me, it's gonna look really good after you get through with this. <coughs> so the next thing he does, what he does is, um, he uh, starts working with, um, let me just fix this a little bit better here. He starts working with the shape of the face after he, he did, you know, the hair form here. Then he did another shape. He visualized a sort of like a box shape here. You could visualize a box shape here. And then, you know, you do the shape of the forehead. See how everything is starts little by little, starts forming up. And here's the other jaw part that he does. And then he does the neck. And he visualizes that the neck is slender just by visualizing where the eyes, the corner of the eyes are. <clears throat> now, once he does that, <clears throat> what he does is he starts visualizing little by little. Um, after he has these lines that he starts working with, he starts working with, you know, details of the eyes the nose and everything so let's see if i can remember how we started doing this uh four fives okay yeah he starts visualizing and i'm gonna do this in blue pencil and then i'll, I'll just do it in black pencil afterwards this is the eyebrow here and then after that he starts working with the nose and usually women's nose are smaller so you do a small little triangle 
just to get the idea of how the nose is going to look. This will be the corners of the nose, like that. And then the circle also. Once you do the triangle, the circle, and the corner of the nose. But he works a little bit different with the nose. What um, Serpino does, he, he does, you know, sort of like a circle here for the center. And then he does tiny little circles for to do the, um, the nostrils which is the shape of the nose here, then, then he does the nostrils like that. I mean, it's so many ways that you can do, so don't panic, you know. Um, okay, now, well, the next thing we do is we visualize where the eye segment, you know, eyes, the tiny little lines are going to be, where the eyes are going to be. And then, after that, we work with the mouth. And hopefully you guys can see this because I'm doing this in orange and in blue. But don't worry, I'm going to do this in black pencil. The only problem is with the black pencil, that's just you're going to end up making, doing a lot of boo-boos. And it's going to smudge. So let's just see how it turns out. See how little by little it's, it's turning into a face? No? Yeah. So it really works. You know, you, this will be the... You already have the shape of the face. Here's a cheekbone right here. The neck and see how the length of where the eyes are that's how the neck should look slender, skinny, smaller, pequeño. All right, okay, so now we can do more details. So we're gonna work with her nose, nostrils, bottom of her nose, the top of her lip. Visualize where the, um, the corner of her lips are, right here. And then we finish off the bottom of her lips. Just visualize two ovals to give it a nice, curvy, sensual outlook on her lips. Very careful. Don't work too fast on the lips. So we got the nostrils done here. And that circle that we did, we shape it, give it shape. We work up, that would be the center of her nose and the bridge of the nose. Once we have the eyebrows done already. And let's work with more details on the eyebrows. And then we could work with her pretty eyes. Right here. Okay, so, so far it looks good. Not bad, not bad at all. And then we continue fixing some details of her face. You know, little by little, your face is going to come out good. Just make sure you don't rush. Take your time. And don't fear your drawing. You know, just take your time drawing. Okay, like that. See how it's coming out really good. It's kind of like uh, the Loomis face, you see? And then... We'll do some more details on her hair. And we work a little bit with the um, eyelids. Alright? And to do the eyes, like always, like I mentioned, always... Train your eye to see the center 
like sort of like a blocky shape, you know. And then you use that blocky shape and transform it into a iris, a round, nice little tiny circle, like all the way to the top where the um, eyelid is. That way you have a three-dimensional form of the eye. Also, you could use, once you do the shape of the eye, you can use the, the circle image to give it that effect of the inside. It actually expresses more the, um, the uh, how do you call that, the tear duct. So now we're going to fix her eyes. Sure that we get this right very carefully we want to draw her iris and in the pupil always leave the pupil for last do the iris and then do the pupil now we can work with the eyelashes so I'm gonna try to do more details on this one because once I fall in love with my drawing, oh my God, those planes, hold on. Let's wait till those planes pass. Yeah, once I fall in love with my drawings, I, it's like when I, I wanna continue it, but I, wanna, I don't wanna overwork it because if I work too fast, I like to take my time to do that I wouldn't say perfect perfect but the image that I'm looking for let's just say All right. and usually there's like planes that come out like that you don't see it too much on women but sometimes it, there are women that have the planes that come from the center, like, see, Loomis does the planes, but not too much, you see, over here. You can't see it that much, but you can actually see it right here in between where the nose is right here. So yeah, Loomis, um, he draws his women so beautiful. So this has like a, she looks French. She looks like one of those French women. And let's fix this. Uh, So I'm just going to do a couple of details. I don't want to really, because I want to show you guys more stuff that I've been practicing on. So that way you guys get an idea. Okay, so let's just finish a little bit, just a little bit here. Just a little bit, just to get it over with. up I definitely don't want to mess this up I gotta be careful especially when I'm doing the cast shadows and the 
cast shadows I have to be very 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 careful with the cast shadows otherwise I'm gonna mess her up and of course I'm gonna do some skin tone just a little bit don't want to exaggerate it too much the neck is going to be a little bit darker yeah so it's coming out pretty good not bad not bad at all all right so you have an idea ears are over here I'll just darken the ears because the hair is giving a lot of um, three-dimensional dark light and shadow let's do some which hair is not easy to do so hair takes a pretty long time to master the hair and the hair takes Long, 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 long time. Unless you erase that nose that we practiced early, you know, earlier. I hope he erased because it's in blue, so so I think he erased a little bit. Well, it's out of there. Okay, so now we could do some more layers for the hair. Very carefully. We don't want to ruin this beautiful woman here. Well, to me, she looks beautiful. I don't know about you guys, but... I'm starting to talk like Romero. Just kidding. Make love drawing beautiful women. You're drawing women, but you're making love at the same time. That was funny. That's what Romero actually says. Uh, and it's true, if you, if you want to draw a beautiful woman, it's like you're making love to your artwork. You're giving it lots of love. Love drawing your women. And uh, just make sure you do you know the roots of the hair that's very important okay so i'm not going to do more details on it I'm just going to leave it like that i'm not going to throw this away because lately i've been very very satisfied with my drawings so i'm not going to throw this away i'm just going to keep it and put it on the side for now all right okay so we did that one and uh we're going to do this one right here and this one is a three-quarter view method, but using the Serpino method. And it's almost like, uh, I would say, like the Loomis method, kind of. Okay, so um, let's see what we're going to do here now. Right, let me see. Oh. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Actually, this is throwing me off, so we're going to use another the pack of the page better. <clears throat> so let's concentrate with this, guys. So this is the way Serpino does. He does the vertical line, right? Then he does the horizontal line or the eyebrow line. Then another horizontal line for the nose. Then another horizontal line for where the chin area is. In Spanish, he actually says el mentón. El mentón means the chin area where the jaw is going to be at. So I notice what he does is he does, he starts from the bottom here. And he does the side of the face here. And then little by little, he starts working with this side of the head right here. 
and then he visualizes slowly little by little he vid kind of like so you have to train your eye to see all these things you train your eye to see you know the the rest of the shape of the head that's the way he does it so i may not do it exactly like he does but i'm gonna give you an idea okay so that way you guys won't get lost and let's do this in pencil just in case because i have a feeling this might take a little longer where's my pencil here it is okay so the next thing he does is he does a hint of the bridge of the nose so this is what he does for them he explains it very well the nose is something like this just like i've been showing you guys so that's what he does here then he does another line for the bottom of the eye see it's going to be the tip of the nose and you want to be careful when you're doing the nose you don't want to exaggerate it too much coming out too far out so visualize it as a triangle that way this part will stop right there see and this is the corner of the nose right there the nostrils and the mouth and then here's the lip right there okay so it's not looking too much of a face but little by little trust me you're gonna start seeing the results then what we're gonna do is now we're gonna do a hint of the eyebrow here right and then we visualize the corner of the eye over here that's the same thing we're going to visualize the corner of the center eye over here and then the center eye a dot and then a dot here for the other corner of the eye so that's the way he does the three-quarter view using G's, you know just the simple center lines that he uses so this right here would be the cheek line and this is going to be a woman we're going to draw a woman and uh now the next thing he does is he starts you know forming the contour slowly very slowly and as he's doing this he starts taking turns with the lips here and then he slices well not slice but he sort of like indicates indicates the length of where the mouth is going to be at so he explains it very well in spanish that this side of the mouth is going to be a little you know longer and this side is going to be shorter because he explains it just like i explain it um many times i explained it that this part of the face you're going to see less and this part of the face you're going to see more because it's a three-quarter view okay in a way it's sort of like perspective and foreshortening at the same time so that's what he explains in spanish just in case if you guys see his video which I'm going to post it on Facebook once I'm out of Facebook jail. All right. Okay, guys. Well, you, you guys already know what happened to me yesterday. So I don't have to explain it again. All right. So then right here, we'll finish the, uh, the contour of the other side of her lips. This will be the other eye here. And then we'll work with the other eye here. See how it's little by little, it's turning into a face. And uh, don't worry about the proportions because you are going to be fixing this, a little, you know, little by little, you'll, you're, you're gonna get this, fix this. And we're gonna get this done right double right and, uh, so I'm gonna have to move the drawing a little bit so I can see what I'm doing I'm not too happy using this technique because I usually like to use the Loomis, the regular Loomis method. 
But I guess if I keep working at it and just keep practicing it, I guess I can get this right. Let's, let's just hope it turns out okay. All right. I don't know why I'm not satisfied with this, but anyway, let's, let's just keep tackling it. Maybe it's because the proportions of the eyes. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's the eyes. It's not level. Let's do this again. It's always good to practice again. All right, let's do this again. This time we'll do it in pencil. No blue pencils, no, no. Let's just do this in pencil. Let's just um, do this the correct way. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do, yeah, I'll do the eye line first and then the nose. And this will be the chin. If I do some hint of the hair, yeah, that's what I'll do. Maybe that might help. Okay, I think it's gonna come out better now. work with this eye first that's what I'm gonna do work with this eye first that way I have an idea what I'm doing now I could work with this eye yeah I think that's what I did wrong and let's work with the lips and then we'll do the outline afterwards that's what we're, we're gonna do yeah I think it's better to work with the center of the face first and then work with the outline of the face. I think that's what I did wrong on the first uh, drawing that I did. And those planes are driving me crazy. They're coming too close to the house. All right, okay, now I have the idea now. That's the way he does a three-quarter view using this simple formula that he does. Bear with me, guys. We're going to get this. We're going to get this. I have a fear. Bond is here. Yes. Speaking of James Bond, I'm going to... Because I haven't seen my James Bond movies in a long time. So I might start off with Dr. No. Who knows? Dr. No. Then after that, I'll start with Thunderball. Okay. It's looking okay, I guess. I just got to be very, 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 very careful with this method here. Very careful. might take some time to master this but you know just everything has to do with practice people everything has to do with practice practicando practice is just in case you guys want to know it's practicando dibujando practicing drawing
hopefully my good Italian friend Fabrizio is looking and he knows what I'm talking about because some Italian words sound pretty much like Spanish practicando Cheek my I don't look. Yeah, it's coming out a little better. It's just I, I, I'm so used to using, you know, the uh, Loomis method um, in drawing, and then I've been looking at too much of um, Romero's uh, technique in drawing faces and three quarter views. So yeah, this works pretty good. Now, I wanna make her look on the corner of her eye, so I'm just gonna do a line like this. It may seem like it's in the center, but it's not. All you have to do is do the iris over here, see? Then the pupil. So it's another great formula in doing corner eyes. And yeah, she's coming out looking sexy. She's a sexy woman. When you're in love with a beautiful woman, you better watch your eyes, watch your eyes. When you're in love with a beautiful woman. It's a song from the 70s. It was sort of like a country band. But they were into like that pop scene. So yeah, it's coming out pretty good. Not bad, not bad at all. all right. This method actually works. You just really gotta work at it. It's, everything takes time, people. So you know, you just take your time drawing. shadows on her face otherwise she would not look three-dimensional she must look mysteriously you got to make her look interesting Now we could do some more details, like first let's erase some of these. It's a good thing I did this in pencil at first. And we could erase these construction lines that we do not need. Okay, so yeah. Now we could add more details like her eyelashes her beautiful eyelashes we make beautiful eyelashes on her and make her eyelids and do a bit shade on her lips right here and yeah it's coming out really good I'm impressed so it looks like this technique uh, from Serpino really works now I've done this method before but never never got that this good you know like I think this is the best one I ever did by Serpino's three-quarter view formula that he does 
and uh, yeah this actually works people you really gotta master this one I'm pretty sure most of you guys will get this everything takes practice um, details on the hair on the hair all right yeah it came out pretty good now I'm not gonna get to more you know do more details I think I did pretty good for a couple of details um, so yeah it didn't come out so bad at all you know so all I gotta do now is work on another technique which I want to show you guys all righty let's do this one right here because this one is pretty interesting and let's see if we can do it on the back side i think no no uh, i want to save this i want to save this one and i gotta admit this came out really good all right okay let's do <clears throat> this one now before i go on let me explain how we do this one and uh, let me see if we, uh, here we go. So Sir, what Serpino does, and he explains it in Spanish, is that he does the same thing, except this is going to be a front view. Um, and this is the line for the eyebrow line. This line here is going to be for the nose line. This line here is going to be for the chin line. Then he does a hint of the nose, which, you know, he sort of like renders a, an idea of the nose. So that's what I mean when I say a hint of the nose is an idea of a shape of nose, right? Okay, so then he does a triangle all the way to the corner. And from that triangle, what he does is he visualizes it. Sort of like, you know, he trains his eye to see a box shape, okay? After that box shape, um, then that's when he starts. I should have done this in ink. Hold on a second, guys. Hold on. Yes. He starts working with uh, the eyebrows. Um, and then after that, he starts doing the mouth, and then he starts rendering. So let me, let me give you an idea how we did this. And let's see how this works. And we'll use the ruler to make this work. Let's see how this is going to work here. And then right here would be the eyebrow line. And this will be the bottom of the eye here. And right here would be the nose. And then right here would be the mouth. And right here would be the chin. So what he does is, you can already tell that this is going to be a face just by looking, the, looking at all these lines here. Um, and it may not look much, but you are going to be mastering this. So he does the nose, right? That's what he does. Nose. And then he does a triangle all the way up to the eyebrow line. See? Like that. So the next move he does is he visualizes, trains his eye to see sort of like a box shape. And then right here would be another sort of like box shape here. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. We're going to try to make it work. Then he does, he tapers in the shape, sort of like a U shape, all the way down to the chin. You see? Tapers in. And when I'm saying taper in, is you're moving the outline of the body inward. That's what I mean when I'm saying taper in, just in case if you guys don't know what I'm saying. <clears throat> then here's the um, hairline. So the next thing he does, uh, what he does is he starts working with um, the uh, eyebrows. You know, very lightly, you just do a hint of an eyebrow. Later, you're going to perfect it later. So you do the bridge of the nose. Actually, let's work with the hair. 
So let's see, maybe this might work. I have a feeling it might work. Never be negative. And then let's um, do the bridge of the nose to the center of the nose. We already have already done the first nose here. So we can add nostrils. And we work with the bottom of the nose. And right here, what I did here already, I already did the, sort of like I scribbled in the mouth before. So, so I'm going to finish her. I'm going to visualize where my the lips, the length of the lips are going to be at. So I'm going to go back up from the corner of the nose. I'm going to go up like that, like that, you know, little tiny dots. And this will be the uh, corner of the eye here. And make sure don't bring it out too far because remember, the eyebrow seems to be more longer than where the eye placements are. So always keep that in mind. So now you could um, fix the eyebrow a little better. Right here. And you can start rendering the, the shape of the face. And this is very good for doing portrait drawing. And I'm actually doing this from my head. So I'm just giving you an idea how, um, not Romero, sorry, uh, Serpino would do this. So, so far it's, starting to uh, take shape the face all right so we have an idea how to master this and it actually works out so let's finish this and do more details and then we do sort of like remember the planes that come out in the center where the nose is, there's sort of like planes that come out. So, sort of like eye, like sort of like eye socket shapes there. You want, you can make an oval for the eye. All right, just make sure it's nice and level in the bottom here. Take the ruler and make sure it's nice and level. So, make the cheekbones. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. It's not so bad. Always got to leave that fear, people. Never fear, just keep tackling it until you get it right. See? Okay, so now we could um do the shape of her eyes. Make her look pretty. So far, so good. When I see a beautiful woman like this, I actually imagine myself listening to a beautiful song. Hey, did you happen to see the most beautiful girl in the world? Tell her I love her. I forgot who sang that song. Okay. Sometimes I gotta move back to look at my drawings. All right, so I'm gonna make her look, like always, I like to draw my women looking suspiciously at the corner of her eye. Like she's suspicious. And yeah, she does look suspicious because of her expression. Let's fix her lips a little bit. It's looking okay, I guess. Let's make some interesting pupils up there. Uh, give me a minute, guys. I forgot to take my medication. Let me... Uh,
And since we're mastering these great techniques, I might consider drawing this cool cover by Fear of the Walking Dead. So that is gonna be fun. Pretty eyes stand out. has to be fixed a little bit, just a little bit, and her eyebrows. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Not bad. corner of the nose right here. So I know I should have done the hair before also. So what I did was like the outline of her face and then her hair. But you know, I don't want to do too many details. Maybe I should fix this. Yeah, okay, that's what I'll do. So I'm just gonna visualize the outline of her hair. Let me um, tip this over a little bit so I can figure out how I'm gonna do the outline of her hair. Okay. I got it right this time. There you go. Because I didn't want to finish, you know, so much details. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, like finish a little bit of this. And then probably when I finish it, because I want to show you some more stuff, guys, you know. So once I finish this, I'll just post it in either in YouTube or on Facebook. And you'll be able to see it. And, but you're going to see it first on YouTube because I'm blocked from Facebook. I spit on this by mistake again. Yeah. I got to control my spitty spits. It's like when you talk and then you have so much saliva in your mouth. I guess, you know, you start spitting on your, on your masterpiece. Yes, I don't care what anybody said. This this is my masterpiece right here. Because she came out beautiful. She came out beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Keep this a little bit darker and right here just a little bit. No, give it some nice, nice toning, you know, just let's erase this center line that we don't need. Let's erase this line, erase this line, the triangle that we did before. So we have to erase that and erase over 
here, over here, and over here. So we have a nice, not a clean, clean drawing, but it's going to look better. Give her some tone on her face. on this beautiful creature that we just created right now. All right, so I'm not gonna finish, I'm gonna finish it later and you'll see it on YouTube. I will post it because I wanna show you some more techniques and. And plus, since I took my medication, I just don't want the after effect, the side effects, which I'm going to start feeling a little bit dizzy, tired, and then probably nauseous. So, and then I have to sleep it over because these medications, uh, they're very, very strong. So, okay, so let's do this one right here. This one is also by Serpino, and I finally mastered it. And so you can see I did it right here, see? So this is what Serpino does. He um, he does the uh, oval, right? Okay. He it starts with the center line. I don't know why he did it that way, but he did the center line. Then he did an oval shape. Then he did the um, horizontal lines. Then after that, he did the shape of the hair, or the shape of the neck. Even though it's not well proportioned, but he fixes it afterwards. And then what he does is he starts working with the eyebrows, like you see over here. See. <clears throat> then the nose, which is three, which I numbered them right here, so you can see I numbered them. And then after that, he does the eyes. And then after that, you know, he starts doing the shape. He sort of like visualize again a box shape. Okay, so let's do this one. But we're not going to do the same thing he did. We're going to do maybe... Uh, let's draw a black woman. That's what, yeah. We're going to draw a black woman. Uh, we're going to do the same thing he did but we're going to do something different I'll draw a black woman okay an Afro-American woman now remember when you're drawing different races and different origins of people you really have to do a lot of research and do a lot of uh, reference also because black people um, they look more different from regular white people and Hispanics or Japanese people or Asian people and stuff so you really got to keep that in mind this will be the eyebrow line right here this will be the nose line right here and right here would be the mouth, and right here would be the chin. Remember, the mouth is always between the nose line and the chin line, okay? So we have the chin line there. So what Serpino does is, um, he does, starts working with the eyebrows. That's what he does. So let's, this is a black woman, so let's do sort of like an afro on her, okay? Just to give us a hint that this is going to be a black, sexy woman. So we're going to make a nice, black, sexy woman here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're, after we do the eyebrows, we are going to do the nose. So first I'm going to do a Nordic nose, right? Okay, now from that Nordic nose... Usually, African people, um, their noses are a little bit wider. So, first, I'm going to do a hint of the mouth to give me an idea how the mouth is going to look. Because usually, black people, um, their lips are more bigger. And also, the bottom lip. And let me give you an idea. Black um, African people, their lips are something like this. The, they got big lips, okay? So, 
um, they're not Nordic looking lips. So they're kind of like go up like this and uh, more like of a curve like that. that in. So that's more like a uh, black African lip that's more thicker, more bigger, and more curvier on the top. So you'll see what I mean when I finish this drawing here. So let's uh, do her lips just to get that out of the way. Right? And then now we can work with the nose. So the nose, um, we could, you know, do the eyes first also, but let's work it with the nose. We visualize that the nose is going to be a little bit wider, right? And of course, the nostrils are a little bit bigger, of course, in the bottom. So we want to capture that. And then in the center of the nose, and you'll be surprised, I've seen a lot of black women. Um, sometimes their noses are a little bit thinner but they also have the nostrils bigger okay then this is the bottom of the nose right here and then we're going to do her lips finish off her lips here and let's give her a nice smile right okay so this right here would be the bridge of the nose so now let's work with the uh, eyes so since remember the eyes are not in the same length uh, where the nose is because the uh, <clears throat> the eyes are going to be just like regular the white people the Nordic nose that you're going to actually go up this way up this way so the nostrils is going to be more bigger so the eyes would be around here so let's just make sure that we get this correctly done Just make sure we look at the proportions on this. All right. All righty. All righty, all righty, all righty. Yeah. Yeah, I feel the medication really working on me now. Okay. <clears throat> okay, the hairline is here. So we're going to make the shape of her face so now that we got that we're going to do the cheekbones here and then we can start seeing the box shape of the face like that and this will be the jaw let's be down with the chin this will be the jaw straight down to where the chin is so let's do her ears the shape of her face so we have an idea how she'll look like so I think I might have probably exaggerated on the lips but it doesn't matter I can always fix that and it's always good that <clears throat> you do everything in pencil first in case you do these mistakes so never fear you can always fix it again I think I exaggerated too much the lips. Yeah, I think this is better now. Yep, yeah, way better. Man, these mosquitoes, my lord, they're biting me, they're attacking me. I hate mosquitoes. Jesus. Almighty, they never stop. I don't know what's the purpose of mosquitoes. I just never, I've always asked myself that question. Why do mosquitoes exist? And there must be a logical explanation why mosquitoes exist. Don't mind me, guys. I, I, it's just I think too much. 
But mosquitoes, I don't know why do they exist, but there's got to be a reason why mosquitoes exist. Maybe to bug us, you know, to bite us. Because they feed on our bloods. So it's looking pretty good. Not bad, not bad. So let's finish her off. Uh, let's uh, you know, start working with the center of the face. And of course the nostrils are big, the nose is big. And the lips look way better than the ones I did before. She looks like a sexy black woman. Foxy lady. This, this will probably be Jimi Hendrix type. Let's give her a, a bandana or something, like one of those hippie things here. She could be Jimi Hendrix's sister or something. Foxy lady. Got the uh, Jimi Hendrix greatest hits. Awesome. And this time I'm gonna make this woman looking towards us. So first I want to fix the outline of her eye. Let's visualize like a blocky shape to do the eyes, the iris of the eye. Just want to make sure that looks correct. And this time I'm going to do the pencil better because in case I end up making a mistake. Yep. I have a very bad sore throat. I don't know why. It's this this weather, man. This weather is just killing me. Black African women use these big, I mean, every woman, they have big earrings, so it really doesn't matter. So it has nothing to do with stereotyping because every woman kind of dressed the same. And, uh, and plus I'm making her uh, like, like a hippie chick, black hippie chick from the 60s. Let's make some peace signs. If you guys want to see a great 60s movie, I really recommend everybody to watch Apocalypse Now, man. It's just, that movie is so crazy. And Full Metal Jacket, oh my god, that movie's just... It's about war, but, you know, it's pretty much, it's got a lot of 60s songs in, in the movie. Actually, both movies got some really cool tracks. Jimi Hendrix and at the same time um, uh, the doors so yeah this, this she looks like a, a foxy black woman she's she's hip she's a hippie chick so now this is going to throw me off so what I have to do is erase this so that way I can continue, I could finish her afro. Uh, but I think I exaggerated too much the afro. I'm just gonna make just a simple shape of an afro. Like that, yeah. Just a simple shape of an afro. And then maybe add some nice, cute flowers coming out. Like she's a piece, 
Love and peace, hippie chick. Yeah. The hippie days. Let's fix the neck. Let's just fix it, her whole face just to uh, get it out of the way. And usually black women, I've noticed, just like Diana Ross, very high cheekbones. I don't know if you guys know who Diana Ross is, but she's a very sexy disco. Actually, she was Motown music. So in Motown, then she started getting into that disco scene. So yeah, we want to make sure that this black woman looks beautiful All right now she doesn't look black black yet because I haven't um, d done any um, dark tones on her face which I'm gonna do that right now but I gotta be very careful with that too because I don't want to make her black 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 because usually when you're doing black people in drawings it seems to be a little bit different um, but I definitely, like for example, if you look at this face of this great actor, which I forgot his name, that played in The Fear of the Walking Dead, he's black, but you can see highlights, you see? You see a highlight over here, a highlight over here. So it's not necessarily that black people are black, black, because the problem is the reflection of the light shows, you know, the tone of the face get more brighter. You see a lot of highlight here a highlight here and a highlight over here and you can tell around here when the, the mustache is right here this highlight here and there's highlights over here you can tell highlights here so this is a great face to do I, this will be good to use the um, um, the serpino technique so let's see if we do that today all right so let's um, erase some of these lines that we do not need and let's start making her look, you know, give her complexion, her, her complexion, her tone, her face tone and all that. And I got to be very careful because I got to sharpen this really good to get a nice good tone. And I'm going to be very, very careful with this woman here. So first I'm going to, you know, just dark, a little lighter. Okay. And this is what I'm going to do for me. Wait, hold on, messed up over here. There you go. Over here, erase over here. Okay. All right, so, yeah, I'm going to just give it a tone first. And then once I give it a tone, then I could add more tone to make her look, you know, her complexion. Let me fix their lips a little bit. All right. So I'm going to keep giving more tone until I get the correct outlook of her tone. So I don't want to make her too dark. And I got to remember that underneath the nose, there's a lot of cast shadow. And that's definitely important. Yeah, I'll give her more tone over here. The eye sockets also has tone. looking good she's looking good all right so we're gonna do her the way she's supposed to look we're gonna capture her little by little I 
She looks like a foxy woman. She's a nice, beautiful, black, foxy lady. Let's give her some planes on the nose and some eyelids underneath the eyes. I don't know if they're considered eyelids underneath the eyes. I mean, if you guys know the proper word for it, um, because the eyelids on the top, there's usually like like lines, sort of like eyelids underneath the eye. So I don't know if they're considered like um, eyelids. So if please correct me if you guys um, know what the word is. And it's not. Now we could uh, color her here. Yeah, she looks like one of those disco chicks. Those funky disco chicks. Those were the great old days. The disco times. Great songs like Rock the Boat. Rock the Boat, come on, rock the boat, baby, rock the boat. Yep. Yeah, she can rock that boat. And she looks like she'll, she's gonna rock the boat. So it's coming out pretty good. make her usually black women are just like white women that they have long necks so, and they got uh, the shoulders are pretty much the same you know it's I mean every race look the same in some sort of way you know the, the shape of the body and all that so the same thing with the necks so you always have to keep in mind that okay now we could you know add some nice eyelashes so I know black women they exaggerate a lot with uh, eyelashes so let's now I don't know because I'm doing a woman that comes for like the disco times or the, the like the hippie times so I I would guess yeah I, I would guess that and during the hippie times the eyelashes are a little bit exaggerated so yeah let's sort of like capture the uh, eyelashes and now we can darken in the eyes and now she's definitely gonna look black 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 and she looks sexy yep not bad especially using the um the serpino technique all right let's see what else we got skip that okay you guys I've done this one before with you guys um, I would love to try it again um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this in another segment so I think we did enough today with the body and faces and hopefully you guys enjoy this video and practice okay so good luck with your drawings and thank you for watching